day two and I'm hitting the streets of Gothenburg once again. I've got a couple more things I want to see and uh, then I've got my first game in the Alspenskan, the top flight. I'm going to see the champions, BK Hacken, take on a side called Bejafors, who I know very little about other than their last um, trip to Gothenburg when they faced IFK. What was IFK's only win of the season? They lost 6-0, so um, surely they'll lose even heavier this time. But you never know, so hop along with me. So I'll try not to get <coughs> far of me. Run over by cyclists. And uh, let's see what let's see what happens. streets and this the casual architecture around it is absolutely beautiful bloody love it shit slap all right next stop the bravida stadium Hopefully you're not too delayed, there's like a marathon going on today, so might be blocking some of the roads etc, but I'm leaving with plenty of time. Bravida Stadion, the uh, home of the smaller side in Gothenburg, uh, BK Hacken, who against all the odds became the champions of Sweden last season for the first ever time. Managing to beat the likes of AIK, Malmo, and of course, IFK Gothenburg, the city rivals, who actually know we're near the title race, but Djurgaard and Hamby were, to the title. Since then, they've not lost too many players, but um, their top scorer last season, uh, Jermajev, has gone to uh, Panathinaikos, and it's been a bit of a blow this season. They've not done too badly. They're second at the moment, having dropped points in just two games. But uh, when Malmo have a good season, it tends to be curtains for everyone else, and so far they're perfect. So, you know, you got to got to sometimes accept these things unfortunately um, yeah definitely a club on the up although um, they was, the um, Twitter account was still trying to shill tickets for this game today I know they're not playing a great side um, but still you'd expect the champions who've started pretty well to um, perhaps get a little more love from the city than that but uh, I guess not <laughs> what a great club to go out to the delicacy of BK Hacken seems to be, um, what well, everyone seems to be getting anyway, is a hot dog with mashed potato in it, which uh, looks very strange, I have to be honest, and very dry, but um, what can you do? That's clearly what they like. A few more beers on display today, but it's still very much um, coffee and a bit of juice actually for the vast majority of the supporters here.
Undeterred by their team's poor start. Hacken playing some good stuff. Could it be a goal? Oh, still could be. Ah, so close. They're one of the best teams in the country at the moment. Really nice one touch triple out there. They're going crazy, eh? They got the top lot to score an absolute banger. 1 1, unbelievable. Did not see that coming. Straight up the other end, Hacken retake the lead. Not even joking. Straight from kickoff. I can retake the lead. Do they? Offside flag is up. Maybe not. Yeah, but everyone seems to agree with the linesman. And uh, it's still one all. <laughs> Back on the way. And that can start the second half, how they ended the first. Traore with his second of the game. A tap in after Olsen hit the post. 5-1. Shaking hands with the ultras. Gumps has used and scored an absolute banger in off the post. Six one. Did not expect a chance of this tune. Nothing much has really happened since the sixth goal. It's just sort of been knocking it around. I mean, we all know where the points are going at this point, so... It just would have been nice to get to ten for a change. It doesn't happen very often. We want seven. Probably not going to happen, though. It's been as easy as you like in the second half. There you have it. 
Here comes Ron Riot, winning 6 1. One, the Deja Fjord fans have hung around to clap their team. You've got to respect that. I was very lucky that my hostel has a complimentary sauna for an hour and uh, no one else wanted to use it so uh, I took full advantage of this. And uh, now, really for the, the Gothenburg experience, there's only one thing left for me to do. Meatballs, of course. When I booked this trip, I totally forgot that Eurovision was on this weekend <laughs> and I've ended up going to the country that won it. Unbelievable. <laughs> 